Welcome to another edition of Talk City Greensboro, produced by GTN, featuring interviews and events happening around town. It's an easy way to stay in the know while you're on the go. Subscribe to Talk City on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or SoundCloud so you can keep up with what's going on in Greensboro City government. I'm your host, Josh Johnson, trying to breathe. <laughs> and with me today is my good friend and co-producer here at GTN, Mr. Sterling Harris. Sterling, welcome to the show, buddy. Hey, hey how's everybody doing? It's my first time on here. Yeah, I'm welcome. Excited. All right. How, are you enjoying uh, your work here at GTN? Yeah, yeah you know, it's a great experience, first-time experience, you know. Perfect. Living in Greensboro f- for the first time. That's right. You're you know. from Charlotte, right? Yeah, it's, it's very different. You know, it's laid back. Like like she mentioned before we got on air, the commute is a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I'm sure it's nowhere near New York, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, uh, in addition to the pseudo-introduction, <laughs> <laughs> she is uh, our guest today. I want to thank all of our uh, listeners for listening to our conversations each week, and we sincerely hope that you are able to catch our last podcast, and we invite you to share our podcast and tell a friend. And today, we're excited to have the city's first chief sustainability officer with us as our guest. Dr. Shamik Doristan comes to us wor- after working for the New York City Department of Environmental Protection uh, since ni- uh, 2015. And prior to joining New York City, she worked for the City of Greensboro's Water Resources Department as a regulatory compliance specialist. And Doristan began her career as a biological science technician with the National Peanut Research Laboratory in Dawson, Georgia, which I think is really interesting. Dr. Doristan, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the first question we would like to ask you, how do you want people to embrace sustainability? Sustainability has, like, really blown up in the last few years. Yes. Uh, so as far as embracing sustainability now in 2022. Well, before you answer that, for the people that don't know what sustainability sure. is, yeah, what yeah. is sustainability? I like to think of sustainability as uh, mindful thinking. It's where we are now, looking at what the resources and things we have now and projecting into the future, um, you know, thinking about these same resources in a future mm-hmm. stance. So trying our best to conserve, and that's where all all these different facets start spinning, you know, um, you know, really looking into the future. You know, it's, it's a three-pillar type of, of, of way of thinking. You're looking at the economy, you know, profit, you're looking at social, you know, where you're talking about people, and then you're looking at the environment where we're talking about how are we affecting the planet. Yeah. So this is how I, I like to think of it. And it's like looking out of a lens. So if, you know, as far as embracing sustainability, um, you know, back 10 years, 15 years ago, you know, people looked at it more so as a compliance measure, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, oh, you know, this is what we have to do, you know, to comply. But now it's, it's, people are now embracing it more as a business approach. So, you know, looking at it, like I was mentioning, you know, mentioned from those pillars and really, you know, connecting those dots to see how can we, uh, you know, better project how can we just become a more sustainable city yep so this is a new kind of a new position for the city so as you've moved in you know what what are the first areas that you plan to tackle here at the city of greensboro so since i've started i've met with quite a few departments uh, met with them had some great conversations and the good thing about it is that (laughs) sustainability is already here you right know? yeah we're kind of doing it more than we used to <laughs> exactly i mean greensboro is already green it's yep. in it's in the name right that's right so that's right. talking to department heads and and um you know people in the different departments it's really been enlightening to me because i'm like wow i mean it's here so it's a matter of pulling all these dots together you know right. we are uh we were just awarded the silver which that's right yeah you know lead certification so it's like you, looking at that knowing okay we were awarded silver status we were five points away from gold yeah. we have the the blueprint yeah. the blueprint is there so it's just a matter of um, accelerating, mm, you mm. know, so, so, you know, to answer your question, my first area, you know, as I mentioned, speaking, understanding the culture, understanding how, you know, this being the city's 
first position? Mm-hmm. How can I be a, you know, how can I help accelerate right. this issue in the city? Um, and so that's what, you know, and so by meeting, understanding the culture, you know, um, we have with the strategic energy plan, mm-hmm. which will be a major rollout here soon once okay. we get it finalized and um, reviewed by our city manager's office and then adopted, you know, reviewed mm-hmm. by our city council, it'd be great to that being the way the city is being a transparent, you know, showing transparency. Right. And then with that rollout, amping it up even more, you know, so that it's all inclusive. It includes the entire city, not just, you know, city operations, but the entire city. So we have a lot um, to chew on. Yeah. Uh, And so (laughs) I am very, you know, excited and and motivated to be the source for, you know, the information and pulling everything together. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Um. You kind of answered that in the in the answer from the last question, but beyond City Hall, what are other ways you could address sustainability in There's, Greensboro? Yeah, it's so it's so much. Uh, you know, from we have apps. You know, we have mobile apps. We have. To me, one of my passions is engagement, mm-hmm. because you can take a vulnerable area in the city that you know may not receive information the same you know just trying to make sure everything is equal information is conveyed properly uh coming from city of new york things are very uh you know you've heard the saying dog eat dog (laughs) you know things are very like in your face and so doing campaigns doing a lot of public education and outreach is key Mm -hmm. so doing podcasting doing things that just reach you know people we're living in this such techno technological Mm -hmm you know, days that you have to make information, um, you have to diversify it. You do. So exercising those things, I think, will get us, you know, really in in great shape. Wonderful. So we talked earlier before the show, and this just brought it to my attention uh, with this question, but we were talking about how big the idea of sustainability is and how it sometimes is intimidating to folks to you know when they're saying what can what can I do as a person or what can we do as a family to you know practice this to be more mindful of it and it just is so big and Mm -hmm. we you know we talked about how the best thing to do is just to pick one small thing you know just start very small and grow from there and 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 it has more of an effect than I think most people would realize Exactly, exactly. I mean, myself, I grew up in Alabama, so I grew up on a farm. Yep. And it's 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 so amazing because I have my little aha moments where I, th- I think, oh, my gosh, like th- this has been a part of me f- since birth, you yep. know, <laughs> growing up, you know, growing organic vegetables and things like that and really learning the, la- the lay mm-hmm. of the land and how you appreciate it's It's the very small things that count. Yeah. So when we look at it, I mean, making, like I was saying, some of these innovative things, mm-hmm. you know, more apparent to people right. that may, you know, not really, vis- it's, it's all about the visual. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. So when does the process uh, begin to apply for LEED certification and how do we earn higher than silver? So it, it, it's a matter of engagement with all departments because mm-hmm. it, it's, it's not just one department. It takes all of us. Yeah. So we were just, like I mentioned, awarded the silver mm-hmm. certification in 2021. We will renew it every three years, right. if I'm not mistaken. So it's a matter of now with us, you know, earning the silver, which was a great start, mm-hmm. you know, looking at that and saying, OK, we're doing more than what we what we submitted right right? so looking at it and saying okay let's let's beef this up you know let's go as they say in sports right let's (laughs) let's go let's let's take this up some notches so looking at the innovative things we can do looking at the regional priority you know pointing to our 2040 comprehensive plan where you know prioritizing sustainability is key is one yes. of the six big ideas so this yeah. is what we're trying to do we're trying to be a car optional city yeah, right so i really think it's all about you know um departments you know looking at the policies we have as a city and transforming those policies to make them more sustainably you know in that mm-hmm. in that lens of thinking right right Sus- more sustainably oriented I more guess. sustainably oriented absolutely wonderful 
So where could people get more information about what you plan on doing for the city? I am working hard with our community, with my communications liaison. Um, we just met uh, a little over a week ago. We're trying, we're putting together a website. Um, that would be awesome. We're trying to um, have more speaking engagements. Um, I want to, on the website, I would love to have a request for speaker to get to really know the city and the yeah. different, you know, yeah. nonprofits, um, schools, you know, people who really have a thirst for this topic, mm -hmm. you know, whether we're talking food waste or we're talking, you know, all these different programming that we could do, you know, um, really want to um, exercise that. So stay tuned. That will be um, hopefully um, spun out soon. Okay. Fantastic. Well, and hopefully we'll see we'll see you down here at GTN. I'm ho hoping you'll send a little little work our way. We can do yes. some things to help you get the information out. Absolutely, <laughs> I will. Yes, that'd be great. Fantastic. Well, we really appreciate you coming on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure. It was great to finally meet you. Thank and you. And we look forward to working with you in the Thanks future. Thanks so much. You're Likewise. Welcome. You're welcome. Stay tuned in weekly by subscribing to Talk City Greensboro on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. And don't forget you can download Talk City from SoundCloud. That's it for this week. Thank you for tuning in to Talk City. Be sure to watch GTN, your official source for news and information about the city of Greensboro. GTN is available on Spectrum Channel 13, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and North State Channel 31. GTN also streams live on Roku and the city's website at greensboro-nc.gov.